This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 30 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, let's get started. We're working on these little symbol things. So, uh, drag them out. Make some of them bigger, some of them smaller. Whatever you want. This probably wasn't the most efficient way to do this, but mm, it doesn't really matter. Alright, next, um, make a cylinder. Right here in the corner. Uh, local normal. Give it seven sides and make the height about. 0.157, convert to edit of poly, polygons, like the edges, chamfer, same drills before. Okay, go back in this mode, editable poly, and copy it. Wherever you have a space in the corner, copy it. If you don't, uh, you don't have to copy it. After we finish this, uh, I'm probably going to go on to the floor, I guess. And then the plan is to move on to the front, and that'll basically be it. I don't know if I'm going to do a rigging tutorial. I may. Make sure these are actually sunk in, you don't want them floating in the abyss. I guess it's okay if you have one or two floating there. Maybe the orcs have uh, some repulsor technology or something. Let's build a box and bridge one of these. So just build a box, it's kind of like a, just imagine it as a piece of metal that the orcs would put on there, give it a chamfer, okay, and select these edges here, connect them, vertex, just, uh, that one down, this one up. Yeah. Go into the top view here and move these either left or right. Okay, just so we can get a little bit of variance. And build a cylinder using auto grid right on top. back down to about 0.144, convert to edge of a poly, polygon, select, select the edges, chamfer, okay, and just copy it right down, there we go, it's looking kind of nice, for an ore. Uh, let's see, Next, we're going to want to build a box, make sure auto grid's still on, and just put it right up in there, and thicken the height a bit. Alright, convert to editable poly, polygons, like there, edges, chamfer, ok, 
Okay. And edit low poly. Make sure you're on the local normal again. Um, select that piece, shift drag over to the side there, one more time, and drag it over, okay, and then just move some of them up or down, or whatever way looks best for you. Okay. And for these, we're also going to build the little cylinders again. Same amount of sides. And convert to editable poly, polygons, select the top, Oops. edges, chamfer. Okay. And just copy over the other ones. Looks pretty good. All right, that piece is done. All right, uh, next build a box. Build it right about here. Make kind of thin. This is just going to be another little patch that the orcs did. Polygon, edges, chamfer. Okay. Looks good. Select those edges, connect. Select those edges, connect. Vertex. Bring that one up. Bring this one down. And bring this one sideways. And then back. Okay. And. You can use these same rivet things. Just gotta line them up again and sink them in. Okay. Looks pretty good. Mm, let's also just build a box right here. Right, convert to edit to a poly, polygon, select the edges there, chamfer. Give it a slight chamfer. Okay, get this vertex, just bring it down a bit to uh, offset it. You can use that rivet. Top view, zoom in on it. And just line it up. Okay. And sink it in. Perspective. Go down a bit. Finish the sinking process, if you will. Back to that corner. From here. Copy it straight down. Copy it straight down, and copy it straight across. Okay. Also, that one polygon inset it just so it gets below those, and give it a quick little inward bevel. Not too much, but enough to break it up a bit. Um, let's see. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, that'll be it for part 30. Um, I'll see you in part 31 where we'll copy this over the other side and uh, bridge the gap so we can create the entrance to this little. Uh, Turret thing.